Hello, my name is Kark City 2 and welcome back to our There we go. I was like, why isn't that working? Welcome back to our Divine Journey 2 Let's Play. And I am embarking on a rather large build here, as we can see. I am setting up four wells of suffering and a third third blood altar so this is going to be where i get all our essence i was debating how to go about doing this and i figured let's just go big and do it this way because as you're looking at some of these like late game slates that we need that require isn't it like a million. This requires a million essence. It is going to take me ages with that little setup that I have. So what we're going to do, and we can kind of see it here. I think I got all the math done on the ritual stones, correct? I think that is, I think we're good yeah so what we're gonna do is have four of these and they have a six block radius of like six six and then I I think it goes six up and six down around the ritual stone that it can damage the mobs so what I'm gonna do is place a killing room or actually, it's just a damaging room, isn't it? It doesn't... If we do witches, it's not actually going to kill them. This will be the floor. And then I was thinking probably Cursed Earth. I think the only annoying bit with that is you have to deal with all the drops. If you do witches, you don't really have to worry about the drops because they never die. Um, so I may just i may just craft up a whole bunch of which will which um full vials and just place like a hundred of them i don't know we'll see what i decide obviously making the floor out of dirt and then just hitting it with a cursed earth thing or a drop of evil would be much easier plus it spawns pretty quick um, so they do have a six block radius, which is actually to here. And then I've kind of overlapped them. So it reaches the blood magic altar in the middle, all four of them. Um, I believe it is also a six block range. So we can see there is the ritual stone and then that is the six block away and the way I've set this up is they all can reach from you can even see it on the, the ground where I was setting it up so that's like the range of the well and that's this one block they all four over overlap if I did this correctly Now that I'm thinking about it, probably should have tested with this one before I started <laughs> placing all the other ones. But there is a ritual of the the dismantle ritual or whatever. And then this one, I haven't decided how I'm going to do this yet. We are going to place all our sacrifice rooms like every single one of these i think is going to be a sacrifice room to get as much essence out of it as possible but i do need to craft up the sacrifice rooms and the other altar like these are pretty easy they do require the imbued which is a tier three so it's not like super super fast to craft these all up but we can um, but I do have sacrifice runes on this one, obviously. So I'm kind of like, okay, so how do I do this? Do I replace those with these? When do I switch over kind of thing? I don't know. Maybe I'll do...
Maybe I'll get enough sacrifice rooms for a tier 3 and then I will switch this over. But I do kind of need to test this to make sure I have this set up correctly and don't need to move these like one in. I wanted as large a killing floor as possible so we could spawn as many mobs as possible. You could even overlap these if you wanted. Like if we move both of these in, these would overlap and that would be perfect. Uh, but like I said, I wanted the largest possible. Okay, so I guess let me... I need to test this out really quick. I don't know if I want a huge slab of cobblestone, but... <laughs> it is what it is. Um... Am I going to be able to... Yeah, because we're going to be able to... I was like, am I going to be able to reach that if I only do one block up? Okay, so what I'm going to do is probably just... Like, this is... They're going to be on top. All right, so I guess let me... Let me just build a one block tall little... Thing. I'm going to throw a, a witch or whatever in there and then see if it reaches the... A zombie would probably be easier, which will probably throw stuff at me. Um, we'll see if we get stuff in there. I do need to activate this though. Also, I should probably, as I'm doing this stuff, have um, have this filling up continuously, because we are actually just kind of voiding essence with that going. All right, we're up to two million. And this is a pretty large build. I guess I need a witch. Yeah. So I could just spawn like a whole bunch of these witches. Or I could do Cursed Earth. Cursed Earth would be easier. Like I said, I just don't feel like dealing with drops. Alright. Go. Go, place down. There we go. I think it's because I was in the way. We'll cover that up. Did we activate it? I don't remember. All right, so we're getting like, is it taking damage? It looks like it's taking damage. Yeah, you can actually kind of see it. Um, it takes a little while. To oh, there we go. Yeah, we are getting. OK, cool. So that does work. Eat. That's all I needed to know. OK, so we will do that and then do this. OK, so. I will build out this floor. Or if I could do a better, even just a chiseled cobblestone or something like that, so it does looks a little bit better. I don't want to do like that again because I mean the whole base is that. So all right, let me build out this killing floor and then I will start crafting up sacrifice runes. At least till tier three, I think. And then with all of these going. You know what? I think we'll probably be okay with. Oh, but I also need to craft up that ritual too over here. All right. I got a lot of stuff to do. Okay, we are back. And this is uh, taking a little bit more work than I was thinking. I don't know what. 
I was like, oh, this is easy. We'll just switch out uh, runes and stuff. But I totally didn't even think that I am building a whole <laughs> third altar. Uh, so it's not just switching out runes. It's actually crafting up lots more runes. And the other minor issue is that... The orb that you can place in there is dependent on the altar. So we could put the tier 5... Uh, orb. I don't even know where it went. Probably in here. Oh, it's in the crafting thing. That's right. Uh, we can put that in the altar in there, but we can't put it in here. So I'm stuck with a tier 3, which has a much lower uh, network. So I should have enough runes to finish up a tier 4. So we can switch this out, actually. Which... is going to be better yeah so that wouldn't actually draw because the, uh, the altar isn't big enough but should be good once i finish this and i got rid of the the well of suffering in the main one yeah so now we can see it's actually drawing into the network cool all right, I don't have it. There's no mob spawning up there yet because I haven't converted it to Drop of Evil. I may do that right now, actually. And then I'm just going to continue replacing all the Runes of Sacrifice. I was just like, why did I put those down there? I should have put them up here. Oh, well. Um... And then I've also placed the ritual there. We'll do that in a second. So I do have absorption hoppers up top. Largest range possible. Fortunately, it doesn't cover the whole thing. So I had to do three more with the, the max of six upgrades. Unfortunately, you can see we're already getting stuff that is spawning. Uh, it's spawning in the corners, but uh, I guess we'll go ahead and get this going. I'm not going to worry about, I don't think I'm going to worry about uh, that snow, the witches and stuff. With the, with that in there, I think we'll be fine. Uh, just got to be careful with the drops that they don't go absolutely crazy. Okay, so we can see we already we're producing more than we can fill up. I'm gonna have to do can't remember which one it is. Is it speed runes? One of them fills the thing faster. Also, the rune of orb increases the amount that we can store by two percent. So obviously. If you put, you know, 20 of those, it will increase it by quite a bit. Yeah, one of these does... I think it's speed. Yeah, insert it into a blood orb. It's 25% per rune, so it's actually... It's actually a decent... Decent thing, but it looks like we are... Holy cow, look how many mobs we have up there. Thought I was picking up. I think they're all turned on. Well, I'm just going to keep working on this, and then, you know, maybe do... Five of these or whatever. Because now... Or like kind of fully automated so that we don't have to worry about like usually I, I was storing the orb in there I had to like make sure I pulled it out and stuff like that and I think we're pretty good so I'm just gonna keep upgrading our altars basically I think at this point more displacement runes speed runes sacrifice runes all the things 
And then I can start progressing again, I guess. We are into this one. Oh, right. We needed all the quartzes. All right. I'll make man um Like, ooh, these might be a little bit more. This might be a little bit more complicated than I realized at first. Like, I was like, oh, yeah, we'll just do this. We actually have mana quartz. But the other ones all have unique type of recipes, it looks like. So I'm going to have to sort that out. Like, this is fire water with mana quartz. That's not going to work, because that's just the block of four. Alright, so yeah, that's, uh, that's a little bit different. And this is like that. Is there anything with sunshine? Do we produce liquid sunshine? Oh, look at this. Terra Steel and a thing. Alright, at least these are... Oh, no was thinking we could just craft those up but uh, hmm. all right that one's a little bit more complicated i was just thinking how are we going to i just realized you have to go through all the wow so this one you have to produce all of them in order to get the lavender that's uh that's a thing. All right. I didn't realize that. I mean, that's cool, but I didn't realize that. Uh, so, again, still got some stuff I need to work on here. And we are back. I have just set up the alchemical, whatever it's called, to produce some flowers and then obviously whatever those other things. I'll come in a catalyst, not construct. So yeah, I threw that down, and I made some recipes for the different flowers, so the allium. Uh, the peony, you can actually get from rose bushes, and we create rose bushes. I didn't even, to be honest, I didn't even like think about, maybe I should try that really quick. I don't think you can. Where is dirt? Wondered. There it is. Like, I don't think you can bone meal these. I mean, that would be the easiest. I know you can with sunflower and the rose bush because they are like too tall, but I think this one is. Yeah, it doesn't it doesn't work like that. That's what I thought, but I didn't I didn't try it. I was like, what just disappeared? So I set that up, but one problem you deal with with the dropping is how do you pick up a dandelion if you're dropping the peonies, but also pick up the peonies when you craft them? And I kind of just put the vacuum chest underneath because, as we know, these draw the items to it. So instead of, like... Having the vacuum chest up here, like I did over here, because that was easier to get it into the thing. Uh, so that would, it would drop the item and then pull it up into the thing. This actually pulls it down and pulls it through the mana pool. So this actually just kind of works, which I thought was pretty funny. Uh, I And I also could probably, I think the dandel doesn't... Isn't there one other one that does like a double? I don't remember. I thought there was, a, I was thinking there was another flower, but maybe I am mistaken. So you can just do that. And like, you can kind of see it, like try to pull it down into it, but it just kind of works. It's kind of funny, actually. So 
now it's dropping the that one. So yeah, I'm happy with that. That seems to actually work pretty well. I'm also setting up a fire water and liquid sunshine, as we can see. We are good there. Set up a sunflower. Is right there to do the same thing. Put bone meal in, bone meal off, and that picks it up. And that's how we get our sunflowers. We're producing the fire water there, the liquid sunshine there, and then we are inputting it into these fluid transposers for the crystals that we need. And then on the back, keeping these items stocked. And then just have filters for what I want to go in there. Now all this stuff is, we are good, like these are grown with nature things. Glowstone, we aren't actually crafting it up at the moment. We're not mining it. I don't think we're getting it from our, our thing, but we have so much of it from when we did run our thing. We're good for a little while, but uh, that is definitely something we're going to have to deal with. So we got that one. I think the red one is next. Is that right? Yes. So, and I'll do a recipe for that. And then I will just craft up. Need another pattern thing in there. Obviously, I have no idea how much. Like how much of the stuff we're going to need, if there's one that we need more of or anything, but I just figured let's set it up to... What am I doing? That doesn't go in there. That. <laughs> that goes in here. The fire water. Um, so, up. Back. I think it's like that. Let's cancel that and try again. There we go. Cool. So there is the orange one. And we put that back. It gets the red one. So we got that, we got that. Then liquid sunshine, the sunny quartz. Go in this one. Blue on top, blue and orange in back. Right there was red. Let me just double check. I am. It is, yep. Sunny. We're chugging along here now. This one. That should be too horrible, right? Just do the recipe. Probably need a recipe for that as well. I did throw in. We ran out. This was the last I threw in another interface right there. I knew we were going to need it. All right. Is that? And then green doesn't work on that side. See if it went, but obviously it did. All right, and then the last one is stay alloy recipe again. That equal. Put that back in there. Easy enough. And that is all the different types. Ding. All right, 
let's give that one more go. Make sure the whole process works. Pretty, uh, pretty in-depth quartz compared to the normal recipe from Batania. Thing seems to be working. We'll let that go. We'll take that because sunflower is just a piece of bone meal. And what is this? It's easy to make money off them since this flower simply generates them. You just need some regular stone. Wait, what? <laughs> you just need some regular stone, which I'm sure you have plenty of, and then place this flower and boom, nearby stone is turned into metamorphic stone. I'm sure you can use for something metamorphic. I have no idea. All right, so it's just a whole bunch of different. And as we can see, there is indeed some recipes for this. All right. We are definitely chugging along here. I am going to have to get this crafted up. Read summer. I'm not going to do... I don't think we're gonna need to set up our recipe for this, but I do need to, I'll just manually do this stuff. Be right back. Okay, and I am just setting up that for the magical tablet recipe, which we are good on. So we got our quartz, we got a purified tablet, we got our block of elementium, we need this stone. Now I placed down this Floating thing, relatively easy to craft up. Um, and I turned it into a floating one. I like the floating ones because you don't need to place it on dirt. And I placed it down over here and it turned a whole bunch of stone underneath into this, this stone, which I thought was kind of funny. Actually, I didn't know that was going to be a thing. But it went, uh, it went pretty hard on this stuff, didn't it? So, I'm going to clear all this out, I think. we got to be a little careful where we place this, apparently, because this has a very large range. And this, this went, this went hard on this. I'm assuming that's almost all of it. I guess I can't get down to there. I will probably clear out a bit of this, actually. Make this a little bit smaller so I don't avoid everything I don't want to. All right, so I think, yeah, I think we are I don't think it's going to mess with that stone, but uh, yeah, so I placed the thing. It was like right around here. I placed it. We can see it did a decent job of this. Uh, I'm going to attempt to set up the a thing of it, the integrated dynamics. Holy cow, that was hard to say. <laughs> uh, the other issue is we are getting cobblestone, and cobblestone isn't what's used in the recipe, so I'm thinking we're going to have to do something We're going to have to do Silk Touch, which we should be able to do. We just have to set it in the thing. So I have a, a thing set up. Basically, just place block stone. Simple enough. Nothing fancy. 
That's all it has to do. If there is a piece of stone in here, it has to place it. Now, breaking it is going to be the problem because there is a bunch of different variants, as we know. So, block we need, right? Yeah, block. Meta. Metamorphic, is it? Yeah, metamorphic. So there is eight, seven. Eight different types. Forest planes, different biomes. These are cobblestone variants and chisel variants. So we'll just have to... Oh, man. You can't drag. All right, I'm going to have to smelt this stuff up that I just... Um, Scott, which is not the end of the world. I wonder if there's like one that, depending on the biome, you get more of. Obviously, I mean, it looks like we've gotten way more plains and mountain, doesn't it? Than all the other ones. The question is, and since there is no there's no ore dictionary on processing recipes, but you can use any of these. So I guess I don't know. How am I going to do that? Forest stone seems to be the one we're getting the most of. So if I do... Maybe I would do a keep and stock. I don't know. Maybe I'll do that. We have all of them? We had... No. All right, that's getting uh <laughs> bouted blades. I don't have blades yet. Blades. Desert Mesa Swamp Fungal Diaga. Swamp. There we go. So maybe if I just tell it to keep crafting up. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know how I'm going to... Because it's random, the, what, the block that it plays. So... This again, we'll do block, add, and then just add all of these, I guess. I'm assuming you can... There's probably... Hopefully there is not like a, a limit. Okay, so there is the list. Pick up blocks in there. And then self touch. Drew. So I'm hoping that when we place this down, we'll do that. All right, now, I don't know if this is draining. It doesn't look like it's using mana, so that's good. But I'm thinking we do like keep 64 in stock. And then have a crafting card on there, maybe? I don't know. And then we basically just use forest stone, but then this will just slowly build up until we get... Oh, that's not going to work, is it? Because hmm. if it does a crafting recipe for forest stone and it doesn't get forest stone, then it's just going to... It'll get stuck. 
All right, um, why don't we try, let's try this. I'm gonna do a recipe for forest stone. So basically that to one stone, one forest stone. Or could I could do like, no, let's just do a one-to-one. -one. I have to do testing here. I. I don't know how I want to do this, actually. So that's lined it to put the stone in there. What happens if I craft up like a hundred? Oh, what am I doing? Forest stone. One hundred. So it'll put a hundred stone in there. That will keep breaking them. I'm curious how much forest stone I actually get, though. I could always maybe set, like, four stone to one four stone. I don't know how much of this stuff we're going to need. Obviously, you know, we're going to need, you know, a handful. But who knows? Oh, guy speeding gets required for it. Oh. Oh, jeez. <laughs> yeah, we're going to need a lot of these. All right, so curious how uh, people go about keeping these in stock with the with this recipe not being able to Yeah, without this with this recipe not being able to or dictionary in AE because eventually we would run out of forest stone and then the recipe will just fail even though we have all the other stuff in there. I mean, it's there's definite it's definitely like weighted forest and mountain probably from the biome we're in. I mean, it's not super super surprising. All right, so I crafted up 100. What did we get? We only got 40 out of that. Yeah, that is definitely a bit of an issue. Okay, I'll have to think about that. Anyone has any ideas? I am more than open sometimes, you know, as I'm recording. Uh, I just miss stuff that, or forget about like a block that be like, make it super easy or something like that. So let's craft up this magical tablet and then we will wrap up this episode so we have purified tablets we have the block of lavender quartz we should have that and we should have i think it's crafting up mana steel for the elementium all right but that is pretty cool we're up to almost the tier six. Oh, speaking of altars uh yeah i'm gonna wait on the beacon i think because trying to get the Radiant Beacons from Atom and finding those lighthouses. I need four more of these. I don't think it took me forever to find the other. The other lighthouses that we needed for this one. Uh, I may wait until I can use Stellar Alloy. Although Stellar Alloy itself uses Gaia Spirit. So <laughs> that's its own kind of craziness. Oh, well, we'll see. All right, we are smelting up here. We're almost done. We should be dropping the... Whoops, didn't mean to do that. Where did you come from? Little crazy... Crazy spider. All right. Did that doesn't seem like it is working. Oh, I forgot to set a output on the filter. Magical tablet. Ta -da! All right, there we go. We got that. So yeah, I'm going to have to figure out other than what is going on with the the mobs over here. Why can't I shoot that guy? 
Uh, that's probably spawning in there, would be my guess. Also, why are you outside? What's going on over here? What on earth is going on? Yeah, that's probably, and it's an ender spider, so it's teleporting out, would be my guess. Which is slightly terrifying. We got this guy up here. Holy cow. Alright, anyway, that is going to be it for today. Thanks for watching, and have a good one.